Hello everyone and welcome back to Piano Secrets. In this video I'm going to teach you how to practice Chopin's Etude Opus 10 number 5 in G flat major. The G flat major scale is like this. And that is the scale that he's going to use throughout the entire etude. Now, as the technique that is used throughout the etude is, I could say that it's an etude based on the black key area and also based on rotation. So there are two things. When you play on the white key area, uh, it's true that what we do is curve a little bit more of the fingers, but when we play on the black key area, we should play a little bit more flat, not too much. And with that being said, the hand position should be like this and not curve because if you are curved you will find that you might fall out, out of the black area so instead of curve them up you should play more flat now after that the movements are very uh, easy to understand pretty much what we do is rotate from one key to the next so we rotate left right left so, so each time we'll do this, we have to rotate, especially when you go faster, that movement will get smaller, but the more you use it, the more you'll be relaxed when you play. If you stop that rotation, what it does is you will f have pain on the arm and you will feel like you can't play or that you will lose control. So you, a sign that you are not rotating right will be that the thumb gets tired, the, uh, the other side of the hand somewhere around here on the wrist gets tired and also the arm. So what I recommend at the beginning is with flat fingers, uh, not too flat, but somewhere in between, you start rotating and exaggerating. So you will rotate as much as possible. If at any time you stop the rotation, you will feel pain and you will not be at ease. So concentrate on that first. And sometimes you might get tired by rot exaggerating the rotation, but after when you rotate less, it will come up easily. Okay, so practice this way. When you go ascending, it's the same. Rotate. So it's based on if you want to practice when you start, uh, rotate like this. Exaggerate. You can rotate those two fingers. any finger you could do the rotation so flat fingers and then uh, work on the rotation now the next part what I'm, I'm going to show you is how I will practice this attitude uh, the left hand and I practice accents so I might practice with a note that is below so I might practice G loud and B every other note with an accent so I might practice G loud soft That's one way, and also backwards with the top note loud. Mm -hmm. 
and then the way it's gonna be and maybe I add both hands and I do the triplet that he uh, wrote so So for independence, that's pretty much it. That's what I do. And then I start doing rhythms fast as a slow. Uh, I might practice also the left hand, the right hand by itself by uh, doing one short, one long. So I could do long here and then quick. Or the opposite. If this is too difficult, you could take as, mu as, as much time as you like in one of the notes. Take a lot of time. And then the important thing is you are practicing uh, slow and fast. So, that quick. So, okay. Now, what I'll do is maybe practice triplets. So, I land on one. That's it pretty much. Sometimes I might change instead of starting this one slow, I might do. Or uh, the triplet, the three notes fast. Okay, and uh, what I do after all this is to start playing it and exaggerating the rotation. So I start playing like this. try to rotate each time and I might rotate a lot to see if I get tired on the shoulder. Eventually the rotation becomes smaller and it becomes much easier. Okay. I hope this video was helpful and if you enjoyed subscribe and like it. Thank you very much.